Hello everybody, welcome to the very first ever StarCraft com commentary by uh, yours truly, Frank of Frank Commentaries. This is very exciting, um, this is my, again, my very first ever commentary of a StarCraft 2 game. Coming from an SC1 background, I am so excited to finally get back into the Blizzard scene. Um, I'm absolutely going to in in love this endeavor. Um, now, don't you fret for those of you who are actually watching my League of Legends commentaries as of right now, which I don't see why you would be, because yet again, I haven't uh, I haven't talked about the channel as of yet to anybody. But uh, for those of you who enjoy those, don't you fret. Um, I do plan on doing a lot of commentaries of a lot of different games. So this, again, being my first commentary of StarCraft II, I'm super excited. This is OGS down here at the bottom left of Delta Quadrant. This is OGS the STC. And his clan buddy up here is OGS SKS. So... Again, uh, first commentary. I have no idea who these guys are. I know that the OGS clan is super good. They're a very good uh, clan coming out of Korea. So these guys, I expect to be performing at a very, very high level of things. Um, now, before we uh, go into a little bit of what's going on here, um, after we do see the probe actually going, making a scouting pattern of going for um, the top left to the bottom right, scouting across map, a very good, very common theme in the uh, in all SC actually, scouting across map first, just so you can throw your opponent off if you find them first, because they'll be thinking you came from a much closer position. But uh, Protoss player not going to find anything there, and the Terran player, I believe, is sending out a scout as of right now, not quite sure. But uh, regardless, um, a couple things you're going to notice in this game specifically, the, uh, the quality... The video quality is going to be very good, however, the choppiness is going to be extremely annoying and aggravating to keep track of because I do have my settings on the very highest, and uh, so that won't be too bad, but unfortunately, my Fraps has been acting up right now, so I might have to switch over to my Hypercam. I'm not quite sure or just download a different version of Fraps because for some reason, even in League of Legends, it started out working just fine and now it sometimes freezes and it gets extremely choppy. So uh, regardless, uh, hopefully that doesn't happen and I hope you guys enjoy. Anyways, I am looking to improve the quality on all of my videos all the time. So here's hoping that it's not too bad. And it looks like actually a Zealot, uh, before I keep going about my shitty, shitty quality, um, a Zealot walking in here, just able to walk completely up that ramp. Unfortunately, the Terran player did not wall in, and the Protoss player did see that with his scout, with his scouting probe, so he was able to uh, recognize the fact that he had an opportunity to walk in here, and Marine does go down there, and a second Zealot here to reinforce, so this is going to be a lot of trouble for the Terran player, only having one Marine and two Marines now out, having, uh, being forced to pull one SCV off the line, it looks like he's being forced to pull out another couple of SCVs off the line, focus firing down that, uh, that one Zealot that is now at 51 HP, and it looks like... Um, for some reason, his, oh yeah, his shields are not regenerating because the SCVs are able to poke and prod away at that sucker. And uh, just now his, uh, his shields are coming back online, so that being a huge deal here. One more Marine going down there. Unfortunately, another Marine going down there, so three Marines. As well as, it looks like this, uh, this Zealot over here has five kills with five SCVs down there for uh, OGS the STC going down here. I believe I'm just going to call him STC. Now chasing down this other Marine here. However, second Barris is up and a Tech Lab now going down there. And it looks like, I believe, the uh, the Terran player should be upgrading the uh, concussive shells right now. Unfortunately, not doing that. And back in the Protoss player's base here, he's warping in two gateways. And it looks like that Zealot does get taken down there with one Stalker on the way. Unfortunately, that Stalker uh, misses that opportunity where the Zealot was alive uh, and able to tank down, tank down that damage. And it looks like... Uh, I believe I did see a mule go down as well, a mule that was at about half energy, so uh, very, very good for the, uh, very good situation for the Protoss player here, and it looks like he is going to be able to, uh, th uh, the Terran player is going to throw down a factory here, so very, very good thing for him as well, able to, to keep his tech pattern going, unfortunately the, uh, actually let me pop this sucker over here, the income tab, Harvesters are 18 to 24, so 24 for the Protoss player, and 25 now for the Protoss player, and 18 for the Terran player. Very, very unfortunate. However, with with the mules, I do believe that he will be able to come back. And as you can see here, actually, the Terran player's economy is actually, at some points, actually higher than the Protoss player's. Just strictly due to that mule, which is, uh, um, for those of you who don't know, is actually worth 
roughly six SCVs in one as he is able to take in 30 minerals at a time. Very, very uh, strong advantage for the, the Terran player. And it looks like actually a Reaper coming out here. Some very strange play. I'm going to have to mix it up here to try to come back in this game. And it looks like actually my Fraps is slowing down the game quite a bit. So again, I do apologize. Uh, this is my first game. Don't think of this as act an actual commentary. Kind of think of this as just a tester game. You guys don't actually have to watch this. This is just for my... Um, my use to see the quality after all the rendering, after all the uploading, and this, that, and the other thing. Just to see what the quality is going to be like. So it looks like this Reaper is going to come around the backside here. And it looks like some forces pushing out in the front here. Going to be spotted by that probe. So that probe going to going to um, see what's going on there. However, at the top of the ramp here, uh, one... One sentry as well as four stalkers and this reaper is going to run around here and let's see how many kills he's going to be able to pick off here. Uh, actually, it looks like he's only going to be coming in here for a scout. Possibly going to be able to get one kill. Unfortunately, one more shot needed to go down on one of these probes. Let's see which... Oh, no. He actually took a shot at two separate probes. But... Uh, this factory actually going to come in here for a scout as well. I'm not sure exactly why he's doing that. He, he has already seen the complete inside of the base. He sees that the destructible rocks in the back here, which is a very safe expansion to take for those of you who don't know, um, have not been destroyed yet, have not been picked away at yet. Um, perhaps it is going in at this very specific timing window um, that I believe he he might be kicking himself in the head right now, thinking to himself, why didn't he send it in that Reaper? A, just a, a couple of seconds later when he could have spotted where the, uh, the tech route of the Protoss player was going. And you can see here, three warp gates and one robotics facility, and uh, as well as some stalkers on the front door here. And two bunkers actually going down there for the Terran player. So uh, the OGS, the SCC actually feeling a little bit worried for himself here. And it looks like, is this barracks going to go in the red here? Not quite, so... Um, that factory is going to be able to uh, survive there. I believe I just called it a barracks. Not sure. Regardless. Um, a pro scouting probe is going to come in here and see that uh, death awaits him in the form of two bunkers. Um, to oh, and it looks like actually this factory has been looped around on. And the, uh, the stalkers are going to just put it in the red, unfortunately. Going to... Uh, take that thing down and start burning it and with a drop coming in here he's going to be able to pick up one two three four and five and six six probes so a very uh, very nice cleanup there for uh for our terran player the stc i'm um, gonna try to work his way back into this game economically he is getting a and there goes fraps acting up again he is getting a command center actually in his base right now as well as two additional barracks Barracks Psy, Barracks Seas, and uh, Barracks's, and uh, as well as uh, another Medivac. So it looks like he's going to start pushing himself into the late game here. And it looks like a Medivac, try this Medivac trying to go in for a drop here, and these Stalkers in very nice positioning. No blink on them. I don't believe he is going for a blink strategy. So uh, no blink on them, not able to uh, just warp in there or jump in there and take out those... Uh, that medevac and it looks like dropping on the high ground there very nice play there it looks like he's going to be able to pick off this no not able to pick up that one stalker and unfortunately losing three of those marines so going to have a, a slightly smaller army um slash harassing force and it looks like this barracks actually has made its way back burned down actually uh, already 300 hp let's hope that our terran player recognizes that and uh starts repairing that and with an observer on the front door here able to see what's going on here able to see that an expansion is going up here might move out during this timing window when this bunker is not up however i don't think that he's going to be able to uh, make it there quite in time for that uh that nice little opportunity there um as well as this observer is actually not moving in the back here to see the production facil facilities there um, let's just take a quick look-see at uh, 